Why did I quit my job and become a freelancer? I get this question very frequently. So let me tell you what was my thought process when I quit my job and started doing freelancing. So the first thing I thought of becoming a self-employed and uh, my thought process was if I become a self-employed, I will have a more control on a kind of things that I'm working on and you know, the, the amount of money that I'm earning through. So that was my thought process. So I thought of, uh, you know, I will try four things. The first thing I thought of, I can try, let's say, you know, online mentorship or online teaching, because since I was already doing, uh, you know, mentorship kind of sessions for companies like Upgrad, I used to do in my own organization also. And I thought that is something, you know, I really like uh, and I like to teach also. So I thought that is the one thing that I will explore. The second thing I thought of, you know, I can do a freelancing since I had already a demanding skill and I was confident in my skill, whether it is related to data science, machine learning or specifically the natural language processing. And I thought, you know, I can do a freelancing and I can, you know, build an end to end uh, solutions for the client. So that was the second thing I thought of I will be doing. The third thing I thought of, okay, what if I don't get any opportunities for mentorship? I don't get any opportunities for the freelancing. Then I thought, you know, I can create content. I can create content on LinkedIn. I can create content on YouTube. I was already, you know, uh, writing some posts on LinkedIn. Sometime I will share some document posts also. So I thought of, I will start creating content on YouTube. Whatever I know about the, let's say NLP, the, whatever the practical knowledge that I have, I can create some tutorial posts there, right? And to do that thing, I don't need anyone's permission. And that is something I like. So I thought I will be doing that thing. And the fourth thing I thought of, I can create some kind of a SaaS product, specifically a micro SaaS, which, you know, I alone can develop, or maybe I can take one or two people helps and uh, I can explore that opportunities also. So those are the four things that I thought of, you know, uh, doing after quitting my job. But eventually what happened out of this four thing, the freelancing, which was the second thing, which works really well for me. And I earn more than, you know, I could have earned from my job. I really enjoy, you know, working with the diverse uh, set of clients. They have, you know, problem statement from a different, uh, let's say, domain. And since uh, most of the solutions that I, uh, you know, provide are API based. So kind of, you know, I'm alone able to build those end to end solutions, natural language processing solutions. And I really get good money better than my uh, job. So that did work for me. I also did a mentorship and even I teach online, uh, you know, uh, to some classes, natural language processing. But eventually I found I'm not able to dedicate that much time to a uh, mentorship or uh, online teaching. And I thought of uh, rather than spending that time in online teaching, I can simply record video whenever I get time and I start creating a YouTube related content. And that is also helping me a lot. So whenever I create any YouTube video, I post that video related information on LinkedIn also. And if any client watches that video, uh, then I also get approached for the similar work. For example, if I build, uh, you know, let's say if I created video on chatbot, then I will get approached by someone here. We also would like to build a chatbot. If I create video related to GPT-3, then someone will uh, approach me on LinkedIn and they will say, hey, we have some of this product idea. Can you work for us? So definitely. Creating content on LinkedIn and YouTube is actually helping me to the more freelancing jobs. So it's actually complementing to each other. And my current focus is uh, these two things only, you know, doing freelancing and, you know, creating content. So uh, whatever I learned during those freelancing projects, more of like, you know, uh, the project based or the action based kind of things, I create a YouTube video on that and I just uh, post it on YouTube. So that's what my, uh, you know, uh, focus currently.